Oxford. And about six years ago, um, I worked with the School of Engineering to introduce a new uh, major called Engineering Physics. Oh, awesome. And it was partly because I would see in advising students who had this really strong interest in engineering and physics. Mm -hmm. Um, and they, it was a tough choice for them, you know, which one to, to choose because mm -hmm. the majors are pretty different. Mm -hmm. And so engineering physics is kind of the best of both worlds for those students, mm -hmm. uh, that they can both get the full physics uh, background so that they could pursue a PhD in physics if they want, but they also get the kind of design and hands-on courses that engineering offers as well, mm -hmm. and that way of thinking. Um, so that was a program I introduced about six years ago, but when I pitched it to various faculty in engineering and the dean of engineering um, in a final meeting where we uh, did the final presentation on the program for approval. Um, for me, a primary motivation along the way was that students with backgrounds like me, who physics is, was actually the right thing for me to, to end up with, I never would have gone straight into physics. Because coming from um, a background where uh, college education is really not part of what your parents grew up with or whatever, uh, physics may just seem like this luxury, like how, you know, what would you do with a physics major? Whereas engineering, like I said, even though most of us as, <laughs> as children don't really know what an engineer does, we, um, we think it's, it's something practical. Sure. Um, and often there's pressure often put also from parents, you know, they want security for their child and so mm -hmm. they would like them to have a degree from the School of Engineering. So engineering physics is in the School of Engineering. They end up with an engineering degree, but some of them will end up going um, more towards physics, um, often with a very applied type thing, uh, uh, applied um, focus. Uh, so for me, this um, first generation college going students especially, who would be less likely to choose straight physics, engineering physics could be a very good pathway for them into a whole set of majors, and so they have all their options open. Mm -hmm. so. That's wonderful. It sounds like it's something that um, that increases uh, socioeconomic diversity among mm -hmm. students and among sort of graduate students uh, throughout the pipeline. And that's really mm -hmm. interesting because there's not a lot of work that's being done that has that effect, and that's that, that's really wonderful. Is that something that um, that you think needs to be done more broadly across both science and engineering? Is to bring in, bring in people who have maybe disadvantaged backgrounds, um, both racial, ethnically, but also um, socioeconomically? Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, you know, often when we talk about diversity, people will often identify it uh, in terms of gender mm -hmm. or in terms of um, ethnic and racial diversity. Sure. And there is often, especially with racial and ethnic diversity, a strong correlation with um, economic, socioeconomic um, backgrounds okay. uh, and the uh, right education level of their parents, for example. Mm -hmm. um, so to me, uh, it's been very important to tackle uh, the background of the students as they come in. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, absolutely, that that's uh, a, a primary focus. And I think if we can focus sometimes on the preparation of the students and how to give them the resources and contact time uh, so that they can succeed mm -hmm. in STEM fields, mm -hmm. Uh, that that will go a long way to actually diversifying the fields themselves. Absolutely. So why is it important, do you think, to have diversity in these fields? Uh, well, for me, actually, I think different people have different reasons mm -hmm. for uh, the diversity. And actually, for me, a lot of it is that I want to make sure that uh, students uh, or you know people who are born with just that um, innate interest, uh, it might be um, talent, okay, in a technical field, get to uh, have the enjoyment of pursuing a career in that field. Mm -hmm. And so for me, a lot of it is that, that because um, when I think of, you know, what would I be happy doing? I'm really happy doing what I am doing. Mm -hmm. You know, I love teaching technical subjects. Uh, I love research and I love mentoring um, undergraduates and graduate students in research in technical areas. Mm -hmm. I think I would be quite an unhappy person if I weren't doing this. <laughs> you know? And so, uh, and, and I think there are a lot of people out there who, may end up not being as happy as they could have been because they didn't have the opportunity to enter a field mm -hmm. uh, that, that's the best match for their interests mm -hmm. and talents. 